Okay, so we do have dividing polynomials, but if you notice that was nice, they're all by monomials, so no long division. So what that means is I can just separate my denominator. So I'm going to rewrite negative 4x7 minus 14x6 plus 10x4 minus 14x squared, and I'm going to rewrite them as all their own fraction with negative 2x squared underneath. Okay, so negative 4 divided by negative 2, well 2 negative makes positive, 4 divided by 2 is 2, more x's on top, 7 minus 2 is 5. So there's nothing left on bottom, I don't need a fraction. 2 negatives makes a positive, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Remember, we're subtracting our exponents, 6 minus 2 is 4, there were more on top, so I don't need a fraction. Positive divided by negative is a negative, 10 divided by 2 is 5. More x is on top, 4 minus 2 is 3. 2 negatives makes a positive, 14 divided by 2 is 7. x squared cancels x squared. Remember, when they match, they cancel. So there's my answer. Now this one is pretty easy to like separate on its own. That one is a little weird with its split. So you can write 4rs, 4rs, negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. There are more r's on top, and the s's cancel. 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. Um, there are more r's and s's on top. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Plus 20 divided by 4 is 5. r's cancel. 3 minus 1 is 2. And they're all degree of 2, so you don't have to move anything because they're all the same degree. Last one, again, super easy to like, just kind of separate your terms. Okay, so 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. More x is on top, so 8 minus 6 is 2. Here the x's cancel. Negative 16 divided by negative 2 is positive 8. Here, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. But there are more x's on bottom, so they're going to stay for 6 minus 4 is 2. There's your answer.